I'm going to show you how to make an old-fashioned banana bread recipe that's from the 1940s era. And it includes using overripe bananas, which are the kind that are pretty brown. They still have some yellow on them, but they're pretty brown on the outside. Inside, they'll look like regular bananas, but they'll be really, really soft. Also, it has uh, use of nutmeg in it. And nutmeg looks like this. It's just a little tiny nut-looking spice. And you can grate it fresh with uh, a star grater, which looks like this. And you rub the little nut across it. Or you might be more familiar with uh, nutmeg that's already grated and looks like a powder. That's what most people use and that's quite all right. You'll also need a few other ingredients. Okay, here are the ingredients you'll need today. Sometimes I like to add a little bit of banana flavoring. These are my overripe bananas and although they look really black on the outside here, they won't be black on the inside unless there's a bruise. See? Perfectly okay. Remove the peel. And then, once they're in your bowl, you can um, mash them up with a fork. And because they're so soft, they should mush up nice and easily. See, it doesn't take much effort. I'm just mushing them up. See, it's nice and gooshy. That's how you mash up your bananas for banana bread. We're also adding chopped nuts to this recipe. I like to use my Ninja Blender because it's really fast and chop my nuts that way. We're going to use one cup of the chopped nuts. We're going to use, let's see, here's the flour. One and a half cups of flour. Just plain old all-purpose flour. And our baking soda, we want one teaspoon. One half teaspoon of salt. Our nutmeg, we also want a half of a teaspoon of ground nutmeg. We want one quarter cup of butter. That's this much butter, half a stick. And if you're not sure, it usually says on the butter's label how many tablespoons equals a quarter cup. Now we do need to melt this. So I'm going to get a little con uh, microwave safe container that I can melt this in. Um, we also need a half of a cup of brown sugar. You can use light or dark, it doesn't matter. Be sure that when you measure your brown sugar, you pack it into the measuring cup. See how this still has the shape of my measuring cup? Because I pushed the sugar in when I measured it. I packed it in with my fingers. And it'll usually hold its shape when you turn it out. Okay. And then we also need a half of a cup of white sugar and one beaten egg. Um, we have our bananas and we have our nuts. And we also need our vanilla. There's a half a teaspoon of vanilla in here. And I chose to also add a half of a teaspoon of banana flavoring. This will just enhance the banana flavor in the banana bread. And here we go. Okay, 
First thing I need to do is turn the oven on and let it start heating at 350 degrees. I've already got mine on. Preheating. So the next step is to take the pan that we're going to use to bake our banana bread in. And you either want to line this with parchment paper or spray it with a non-stick baking coating. I like this one with the flour in it. There are other brands that also have the flour in it. Um, this is just the one that I prefer. And you will coat the inside of the pan lightly and set the pan aside. Okay, our flour mixture, to that we are going to add our baking soda, our salt, and the nutmeg. So what you do with that is you'll take a whisk and gently whisk that in so it's mixed in evenly. Another way you can do this is to go ahead and sift all the ingredients together. Okay. Also going to use a paddle attachment which looks like this. So let me put that onto my mixer. Okay, here's my melted butter. You don't want to cook it, just barely melt it. I'm going to add that to my mixer. And to that I'm going to add my brown sugar easily, don't do that, and my white sugar. So now my sugars and butters are in here. I'm going to attach that to my mixer with the paddle and turn that on until it's creamed together. So start it on low so it doesn't splatter. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and scrape my sides. see here I have some of the butter stuck on the side here that's not incorporated with the sugar so I want to be sure and scrape the sides so all that will get mixed in together well medium speed right now. I'm going to turn it back down to a slow speed because I want to add my flavoring, my vanilla and banana flavoring, my beaten egg, carefully, slowly. I also want to add the mashed bananas. To add all the bananas. Turn it back on to a low or medium speed. Let it mix for a while. I'll be sure and scrape the sides real well. See, it's kind of soupy looking. Those are all of our wet ingredients. To that, we're going to add our dry ingredients, which we have here. It was the flour, the salt, baking soda and nutmeg. Okay, now you want to start on slow again because you don't want that flour to go poof out of your bowl when you turn the mixer on. So go on slow. 
Get it stirred in. Okay, that should be good. Just want our ingredients combined. mix off my beater here. Kind of look at the sides, scrape it, see what it looks like in the bottom. Make sure I got everything mixed in. Okay, now I'm going to add the nuts. You want to fold those in. And what that means is you're going to add it to your mixture and by hand not with the mic electric mixer, you're going to lift and fold the batter over like this. Mix all the nuts in. Scrape your sides as you're going. And there you go. Now we can pour it into our prepared loaf pan. Make sure you get all the batter in there. That pan. I'm just going to smooth that out into my pan a little bit. And now I'm ready to put it in the oven. It's going to go into our oven, which was preheated for 350 degrees. And it's going to bake for about 50, 55 minutes, or until I put a tester in that comes out clean. And then we'll take it out of the oven. Okay, so here's the banana bread out of the oven. It's been cooling for a little bit. It's still warm. This is what it looks like. Cake tester. Insert it. If it comes out clean, it's done. I'm going to turn it out onto this plate. <clears throat> homemade banana bread. Slice into it for you. It is still warm. It's not quite completely cooled off. You should wait until it's cooled before you cut it. I want you to see a close up of this goodness. You can see some of the nuts in the banana bread. Looks good.